This is Nicholas Bell from Ion Cinema here to review the new Criterion Blu-ray release of Fists in the Pocket. Uh, the street date, which was uh, early September 2019, uh, and is a re-release uh, from the original 2006 edition to the film in the Criterion Collection. Uh, Directed by it's Marco Bellocchio's 1965 debut. It won the Silver Sale at the Locarno Film Festival, where it was met with derision by uh, major uh, auteurs like Antonioni and Louis Buñuel, uh, much to Bellocchio's chagrin. Uh, it, I think it's a great time for Criterion to bring this film uh, into its Blu-ray release, uh, as Bellocchio's uh, The Traitor played at the Cannes Film Festival, which I think is one of his strongest films in years. But he's actually had uh, a great past decade with Blood of My Blood and Dormant Beauty and Vincere. Fist in the Pocket, I would describe, he, what's ironic is he filmed it with family money on family property and it's a film about extreme familial dysfunction. Uh, it's about <clears throat> this family living in a crumbling Italian villa uh, and uh, the father has been dead for some years and uh, the brother, played by Marino, Ma Marino Masse, who you've seen in The Leopard and Godfather Part Three kind of uh, is the pseudo-patriarch but wants to distance himself from his sister and three younger brothers, all who are epileptic, and his blind mother. Uh, he ends up concocting kind of a weird deal with uh, Lou Castell, playing uh, his the oldest of his younger three brothers, uh, who wants to drive the family off the cliff one day uh, on the way to visit the father's uh, grave. However, uh, Luke Castell, who you can also see in uh, Killer Nun, which was just brought back to, uh, which was just brought to Blue Way with Ray as well, uh, kind of has an incestuous thing with his uh, sister, played by pa Paula Pitagorna. Uh, in any way, uh, it ends up becoming a, a bit of a horror film, really. Uh, what I would call Grey Gardens with a Death Wish, perhaps. Uh, it features a fantastic score from Ennio Morricone uh, and also Alberto Marama. Uh, I think it's, it looks fantastic in this new uh, restoration. Uh, as far as... Bellocchio arrived in the mid-60s uh, as a very young man. He's now entering his sixth... about to end his sixth decade of filmmaking. Um, he was a contemporary of Pasolini and his film feels very much uh, in the sordid social melodramas of Pasolini, uh, but also other uh, directors who were coming up in the period, like Antonio Pietrangeli, whose I Knew Her Well came out the same year. Uh, but I think it would make a fantastic double feature with Ettore Scola's 1976 film, Ugly, Dirty, and Bad, which is also about a very dysfunctional family living in ramshackle ruins outside of Rome. Uh, I'd give Fist in the Pocket, 4 out of 5 stars, uh, in the new Blu-ray release, also 4 out of 5. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.